Hello guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I have a little bit of different video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at XS Overlay. So before we get into today's video, I would just like to say that I have used the OVR Toolkit and XS Overlay and I can tell you with firm hands that XS Overlay is a thousand times better than OVR Toolkit. So please don't come here with your hate and saying, oh no, OVR Toolkit is better at the end of the day. This is my opinion, but I would just like to inform you guys about it so that you maybe know about XS Overlay if you don't know, just so that you use it because it is a thousand times better than OVR Toolkit. Anyway, let's begin with the video. So this is how it looks like in VR. As you can see, you have a little nice window there. And yes, it is three in the morning as of recording this. Don't ask, I need a life. Uh, as you can see on the side, you can check out your frame rate, your GPU, and it's really cool. You even see the manufacturer of your GPU and CPU. Um, uh, above it, you can have, uh, I believe, Spotify. I don't have Spotify where I am, so I don't think, uh, so I don't have it connected. And above that is where you spawn in your windows. Now, uh, that's a first plus about XS Overlay is spawning in a new window is much, much easier on XS Overlay than in OVR Toolkit. You just press one button and you can spawn in as many windows as you want. Now it's really nice and dandy because uh, no matter how many windows you're gonna have, it is not going to lag you out. And as you can see, you can you can push them away and push them towards you. Now I'm using Vive Wands, so for me it would be a touchpad that controls most of this, uh, but if you have different sets of controllers it usually tells you when you with the, with the first time you boot up access overlay it will tell you what buttons you need to press in order to control your windows now as you can see you can make it bigger you can make it smaller however you want it it's it's nice and dandy and then just to delete the window you press the little x and then they're all gone at the window we have a bunch of settings, so for example you can put it on your left hand, you can put it on your right hand, so if you have a sound pad or if you just want to quickly check Discord, you are able to do so, and you can put it back into the world. Now as of this point of the video, I have to say I'm not going to go over every single thing you can do in Excess Overlay, but on Steam it's only 10 bucks, so you're not gonna really waste a lot of money. Just, you know, buy it, try it out, and you know, m maybe you'll like it, maybe you're not. But I'm, I can guarantee you, if you use OVR Toolkit and you haven't heard about Excess Overlay, trust me, it is time to switch to Excess Overlay because it is a thousand times better. Now, one also thing about Excess Overlay is that it won't crash you if there's a freaking update. I had a bug on Excess Overlay, or well, it was a thing where it basically told me that um, would basically crash and boot me out of the game for it to update. Now I haven't had this with XS Overlay and that is one plus about it. To show and unshow your windows you would just uh, double grip your controllers and then above here you get a bunch of cool options. You have a keyboard which you just press there and then you get it. Now you have a bunch of, uh, it is just a nice simple keyboard and one cool thing about it is you can control C and control V if you want to copy paste links, for example from Discord or whatever. Now, uh, a cool thing about keyboard is it has its own settings, so if, if we hover if you hover over to the right side, you are going to see a bunch of, you're going to see settings. You're going to enable the sound and then sound pack and you're able to change it to mechanical blue, which is that nice clickety sound that I didn't hear. And that, that is a nice clickety sound. You also have the opacity if you want to make it a little bit see-through. Uh, format, you can have it minimal or full, so if you want the numpad, you can have so, but I usually just keep it on the minimal because I do not use uh, sound, I, I do not use the numpad, at least in my case, so I will just keep it on manual. Now we get into actual settings that you can mess with, so if we, if you hover over your little window and you open settings, you get the smaller window, and now there's a bunch of stuff that you can change here. So you can change the, your watch to be either on your left or right hand, depending which hand is your dominant hand. Um, and there is a bunch of little cool things that you can have um, that I haven't messed with because I didn't want to break anything. But it's it's pretty self-explanatory as you go through all the things. It tells you like, oh, this is a window opacity or how much FPS do you have. There is a bunch of stuff that you can play around with and I just haven't gotten to play with it a lot. On the wrist, we have, you know, you can enable your window, you can disable your window. <clears throat> Jeez, my voice sounds horrible because I just woke up and I'm 
recording this sound clip. Anyway, uh, you go to if you go to the themes, you can change the color of it, and you can change uh, pretty much anything about it. You can change what color you want. It can be dark thing, or it can be oh god, or it can be it can be white themed. Although if you use this, you're a psychopath. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There is a white option if you want it now notifications i didn't have it set up which is uh, which is why i can't show you it but if you join if you hop over to their discord um you can connect your let's say uh, if you play vr chat there is a vrc x and you can connect it to your access overlay so that every time somebody hops on you will get a little pop-up notification saying oh this person came online or oh this person hopped off so you can have it same with let's say discord or or whatever nightlight um, so if you enable nightlight the you, as you see the colors kind of change a little bit I don't think you see it in the video but I, I don't know what it does in general um, and then you can hear you can mess with your time as well Easter egg I have no idea what this is so you have to kind of figure it on your own and if you need any help regarding the access overlay, they have a bunch of social medias, so you can go and check them out. Now, when you come to the debug platform, if you don't, uh, the first time you boot up your access overlay, you're going to be greeted with a tutorial. Now, if this video helped you already enough on how to get around and narrate, you just have to go to the settings and then you go to the debug. And at the top, you're just going to click reset tutorial. So this is going to put you like just it's, it's just going to cancel the tutorial pretty much but I'm pretty sure you can skip the tutorial as well although if you don't know much about it I pretty much suggest you doing it because it's it, it is very nice um so that is all I had to say about access overlay um why do I suggest it mainly because it doesn't lag you out no matter you know how many windows you have open it's not going to boot you out of your game if it has an update and it is just much more optimized and it looks nice it looks more futuristic -y than access over uh, than OVR toolkit um, so yeah, overall, I give I give the there are some things, of course, that I don't like about it, but I think that's going to happen with every single uh, program that there is out there. So, um, yeah, one quick little thing I forgot to mention in the video, as you can see here, you, uh, you can see my steam picture. So basically, whatever steam picture you have, it is going to appear on your wrist and the little orange background is pretty much a gif, but you can set it to any you can set it to anything else. But you do have to join their official discord of access overlay and then go from there on how would you about go ahead and doing it. But it can be pretty much any gif out there that you want uh, as long as it can fit in that little um, window. As I mentioned before, you can have a mechanical sounding keyboard. Now, I didn't get I didn't show this in the first part of the video, so I'm just going to be quickly showing you now. So, I'm going to enable the keyboard here and I'm going to type out some stuff, so I'm going to shut the hell up so you can hear how it sounds like. But that is all I had to say in today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you, if you didn't know about access overlay, I really highly suggest you to go get it. Anyway, I hope you that this video helped in a way and uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time.